This is the plot at the end of April. I think it's the April the 29th, 2014. As you can see, two big changes have gone on in that I've gotten rid of the um, the eight foot high metal fences, given them to our, our neighbours, and I've put in some green um, five foot high um, chain link fence. I've also put on a wooden door onto the plot and made it secure. And the five foot high chain link fence has made it much more friendly and much less of a prison. Um, and this has improved the appearance. I've put some wood on the door up there and a few little um few little um signs to d deter in intruders. <laughs> Not sure whether they will or not. The um, red currants are nicely coming into blossom. The uh, I've put in some sweet peas there. I've um, put in my eighth raised bed there. I've I've abandoned the. Um, second-hand scaffold planks because they seem to be rotting too quickly and put in these six inch high rather than nine inch high um, treated on timber which should last three or four times the um, length of the scaffold planks. These are the um, sweet peas they need watering. I've, I've put um, eight foot canes and wrapped some green um, mesh around them to help the sweet peas climb. The uh, rice um, raspberries seem, most of them seem to be coming up quite nicely. I'm a bit concerned about this, a bit paranoid about um, viruses. I've cut back a portion of those because last year they seemed to have a virus. Um, there are some gooseberries coming out. I hadn't noticed that and it's and some quite nice um, ladybirds. The, I've had to cut back the roses quite uh, dramatically because of the new fencing. Um, I'll just I um, still have to dig this raspberry patch up. Last year I had, had three raspberry raised beds and loads of raspberries but I couldn't really grow anything else. So I plan to um, put beans in this raised bed here. Have this for um, sweet peas and um, others and um, lettuce and things and I want to dig a pit about two or three feet deep and fill it with, with manure ready for next year. The uh, <coughs> roses have been cut back quite dramatically. I've, I've put in a, a bug at home, one or two of them around. I've also put in a another bird box when the uh, allotment is a bit secure you can do that sort of thing. I am very pleased with putting a grease band round the um, plum tree. As you can see it's um, captured quite a lot of plums. Now that the blossom's gone, I've and I've had trouble last year with um, plum moth, which climbs the tree and lays its eggs in the little plums. As you can see, we've got tiny little plums coming along. So I've um, sprayed it with bug clear. The um, 
gooseberries and the black currants are starting to come into flower as are, as are the um, dandelions the um, shamrock seems, seems quite happy now it's um, settled down um, somewhere in there there's some wild strawberries I've, I've planted two or three bushes of um, lavender which, is, um, which may um, take I put um, some um, potatoes in 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 just normal fairly strong bin bags and I think they they seem to really like the the um, extra warmth and then as the as the plants grow then I put some more compost on them and um, uh, I'm expecting quite a nice yield from that um, I've bought my um, grow bags I'm ready for the tomatoes last year I planted them very late because I wasn't well um, but I've got quite a good crop I, I think that they should be planted early next month the um, blueberry seems to be settled down it doesn't like the alkaline soil that you get here, so I'll, I'll have to I'll have to repot it a bit. The um, rhubarb's coming along quite fine. I've put another glass top on the um, on the cold frame there. I'll have to fill it with soil, and I've got some cucumbers to put in it. I've cleared this, I'm ready for some of the raspberries because some of the um, tomatoes because I, can't, I haven't got that much room. One of the construction jobs that I did last month was I um, put a, a um, top on this thing and, uh, and um, draining the water into one of these IBC containers. And this is my, um, ev every two or three weeks I, I um, spray with um, Roundup and that keeps the weeds beautifully down. This is my um, fairy glen, complete with fairies that have settled in quite nicely. A bit of encouragement and they all start to come. Hello fairies. And they've got two little scarecrows that have come just to be with the gnomes. I've um, taken up the um, lilies from out of the pond because they're just filling the pond with lilies. I'll have to somehow um, level this area. This tree is interesting because I brought it in. It, was, it seemed just like a dead tree. I brought it in to oh, keep the soil back from going on the path and it seems to have, have um, taken root and it's growing into quite a nice tree there I'll have to cut them back a little bit so that's quite nice the fern is coming out quite nicely as in, as in the creeping vine I had a, a, a daisy there which I bought but they haven't lasted very long at all and that's the plot on this beautiful end of April day. Next door have um, taken over the plot and put a put some polythene down. I hope they're able to they find it a little bit daunting. I think. And that's it on the end of April. Bye. It's um, time to sow the runner beans. So I um, have collected a lot of toilet rolls o over winter, and I've, and I've put them, put some soil. This is the best one. The um, compost in them, firmed it down, and then put one 
run the bean seed in the in each of the pots. Um, that's the the um, second lot that I haven't done yet. I'll um, cover those with some more of the compost, water them, and and then leave leave them for a few days, making sure that they don't ever dry out. Last year I didn't use toilet rolls. I just put five or six beans in a eight inch pot and, uh, but this this year I've, I have some spare t some toilet rolls so I've done it this way um, covered over I um, don't ever plant them directly into the ground in the the north these days because they just seem to rot on me but but this this is a very very successful way of doing it because if they don't germinate you you know immediately not to plant them. I had had a good crop of Unwin's Rona Bean White Lady last year, so I'm I'm, I'm make, making two rows of them this year. Um, the the others didn't seem to be that good.